You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 29 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we are talking about the Raw Smackdown after Royal Rumble. Yeah. And somewhat the Royal Rumble itself. You're almost getting ahead of yourself there saying WrestleMania, right? I almost did, yes. Yeah. That is correct. Uh, now we've still got a couple months until that happens. True. And two pay-per-views. However... Uh-huh. The length of the Royal Rumble felt like WrestleMania. Oh my god. It, uh, 7 it was, hours it was including long. the pre-show. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, a lot of wrestling. It was long. Um, it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Oh but. no, no, no. I I did as well, but I mean you could have easily shaved at least an hour off of it. That first hour of the pre-show is completely unnecessary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um the pre-show you could <clears throat> honestly you just have you could have two matches and still have uh, the pre-show an hour long. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no reason to have it that long. No, not at all. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we had a title change on the pre-show mm-hmm. with Shinsuke regaining the United States champion. Made no sense. Ship. Only to lose it again on SmackDown? It's true. Um, I guess at least he didn't lose it back to Rusev. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I guess the, um, the person he did lose it to isn't really that... Yeah, I mean... <sighs> Just so our truth supposed to come out at number thirty in the Royal Rumble uh-huh. gets attacked by Nia Jax of all people. Of all people, yes. Now now she has the claim to fame that she's eliminated people in both the men's and women's Royal Rumble. So it's true. It's something. Mm-hmm. It made people talk. People were buzzing about it. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, I mean that did, uh, I guess, help the WWE. I guess I don't know. Mm. I, it seemed kind of like they were, you know, trying to see how people would react. Yeah. So, and I guess she would be the best person to to do it with because she seems like she can legitimately. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I guess contend with mm-hmm. men. The problem is, is, you know, everybody was complaining about Nia Jax having issues with the other women in the ring, and now you're going to put her in the ring with men. But I guess they're able to handle it safer. The match, I mean, because if you have to, you know, the size difference between Nia and, say, Alexa, if Alexa needs to be able to do something, she's not going to be able to as well as somebody closer yeah. to the stature of Nia Jax. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, I guess in, in some theory, it could be a little safer yeah. in that aspect. Well, she can't also overexert herself on them as yeah, easily. Yeah, I guess that is true. But, um, yeah, she ends up taking an RKO which was uh, fantastic. Well, I mean, also... that super kick by Dolph Ziggler, that was the, the first spot where we had uh, some quote-unquote intergender wrestling. Yeah, I'm like, I thought she kicked um, whoever she was holding, either Andrade or... Yeah, Ray. yeah. I don't remember who. Apparently not, though. No, well, I meant the first male to make contact with... No, Nia. I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh. thought that he hit the person oh, she was carrying. He might have. <laughs> so, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so... The McMahons, I guess that's what they said, oh. said that our truth because he wasn't able to make it to the Royal Rumble yeah. gets a United States title opportunity on yeah, SmackDown. That and, didn't make uh, any sense. No, but he ended up beating Shinsuke, and then because Rusev, I guess, never got a rematch or anything like that, he yeah. came out all pissed, and Truth ended up beating him too. Yeah, and the the weird part was it was like uh, I guess supposed to be a botched three count on a roll up. Right, and then they didn't do anything because it went into another match. Yeah, because <laughs> clearly Shinsuke kicked out. Or well, I don't know it, if his shoulder got up. His it, feet it definitely It looked like got he up. kicked out. Um, and Kyoto, when normally he would have stopped counting, he just continued, continued. to count. That was yeah. it. Um, and uh, so our truth won. He looked very confused. So it kind of looked like it wasn't supposed to happen. But Whatever. No knows. So, like you said, Rusev comes out, demands a rematch, and then he loses too. Mm-hmm. And then Rusev and Nakamura team up together to beat up our truth Of course. And then later on, we get a match made for next week between the club and Rusev and Nakamura. Yeah, because the club <laughs> didn't like what Rusev did. did. He wasn't a good brother. Yeah, so now Shinsuke went from being Rusev's enemy to being his friend, I guess. <sighs> yeah, that was, uh, that was something. Yeah. That was something. Um, Asuka retained her title by making Becky tap out. That was, I don't think it was the right way to go about it. As opposed to what? Having either Becky pass out or. Yeah, I think that's, that's a little too on the nose. 
You know, you I, understand? I, I get what you mean. Because but... that's that's what they go to a lot of times to try to preserve. Right. So I, if you do it every time, you shouldn't need it. No, that's, but that's I mean. That's really what the. All right. So <laughs> Becky ended up coming out and winning the women's rumble and she took out. Well, she didn't take out Lana. Lana just couldn't make it to yeah, the ring. Yeah, Lana so she had gotten out. hurt during the pre-show. Yes. Because I guess Shinsuke moved out of the way and Rusev bumped into her. She Something fell like off that. the apron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, Lana's hurt. Becky right. takes her spot, um, and then she ends up winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but now Becky's challenging Ronda. But I don't know. I, like, I, you get what I'm saying, though. I mean, she no, tapped I, out to Oscar. Now, I why, know what why you would you mean. think? But it's wrestling, and there's not supposed to be logic involved. And it doesn't matter because it's not like anyone thinks any less of her because of it. It's true. So, you know. It's it basically the only thing that happened there was Oscar was elevated a little bit. It's true. That's it. Nothing else happened because right, no one no one thinks less of Becky because of it. Obviously, she came out later and oh yeah won the rumble. Yeah, which so. I saw uh, footage from the event where somebody like took fan footage and uh, the pop that she got oh, yeah. was was Absolutely. ridiculous. Um, and then yeah, on Monday Night Raw she challenged Ronda. Yes, it was and... actually really cool what they did. Yeah, um, again, Rhonda and her promos, because mm. um, yeah, no, no. she had an open challenge earlier on. and I guess that's what it was. It was supposed to be, but because of how bad the promo was going, they just sent Bailey out there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, she was kind of stumbling because she was getting, like, jeered a lot. Well, yeah, because Becky Chance and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but it was other things, too. No, yeah, 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 but <laughs> um, well, at the end, that's what it really... Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Bailey comes out. They have a match they were supposed to have um, for the title. Mm -hmm. and Another good match. Yeah, they kept on going on. It's like, well, uh, Becky can't challenge Ronda if Bailey's the champion, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Obviously, that wasn't going to happen. No. Um, after the match, uh, Ronda and Becky shake hands. And then uh, I think, not Becky, Bailey shake hands. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think that happened. But. And then. Bailey goes to leave, and then that's when Becky Lynch's music hits. Mm -hmm. Big surprise. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, she's a SmackDown superstar. Yeah. And earlier in the night, Triple H had said but that she, she was going to announce it tomorrow. Right, right, right. right. So <laughs> she comes out, and she's like, I told you I'd find my way back to you. Mm -hmm. No, and they had a really good back and forth. Um, yeah. I mean, Ronda was visibly upset with the crowd. Oh, yeah. Completely uh -huh. shutting her down. And then just... The smirk on Becky's face, and oh, yeah. like she's just uh -huh. like this. completely buried yeah. Ronda. Oh yeah, it's it's kind of funny. Um, so, but I, I did like you know her saying you know Ronda saying I could kill you if if you know. <laughs> but that I mean, doesn't matter. No, I know, but I mean it was just you know <laughs> you gotta give do? some power to her. You can't make her look completely weak. Oh, they did. Yeah. They, they looked made her look like a fool. Yeah. But, so, uh, um, but it's funny the. The package that they played, and I know they do this on purpose, that they played on SmackDown, like, at the beginning, just, it was a lot smoother mm -hmm. in terms of, like, you know, the way that the conversation went. Right, right. So, well, because I they have all that time yeah, to uh, make but, things look better. But I had actually seen that before I saw what happened on mm -hmm. Raw, and, like, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then you watched Raw, and it's like, oh. It wasn't as good. No. It was still good. Nothing was as good as that punch that Becky oh, God. <laughs> laid out Charlotte with. It yeah. Just, it was similar to what she did to Peyton a few weeks back, but this one oh, just yeah. landed yeah. right on the chin. And then, yeah. Oh, it was just, you weren't expecting no. it. It was just such a nice shot. The two battled that out, and yeah. that was the last we saw of both of them, right, for the night? Yeah, well, Becky left, left because yeah. her She's ankle like, was or her. Right, because they bothered. wanted her to get medical attention. She's like, I'm not getting put on the shelf again. So yeah. she said, screw this, I'm um, going home. Yeah, yeah, that was due to Becky coming out for technically no reason besides, I guess, you know, to talk herself off. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And then Charlotte came Start out. Start the show hot. That's what they've yeah, been doing well, that, lately. that's... That's kind of why I brought up the technically no reason part. Oh, I gotcha. Because, you know, they're playing the hot hand. Luckily, she's, you know... The probably, right thing to do. <laughs> well, I was going to say, look, she's probably not going to lose any steam anytime soon. Um, but, again, it goes back to what we're talking about with the Rey Mysterio and Andrade matches mm -hmm. over and over again that eventually it's going to get a little old. Yeah, which I think on her road to WrestleMania, we're going to get more Becky and Charlotte. 
That's fine. Yeah. There's no problem with that. It technically leads into the storyline. Yeah, I guess that is true. And, you know, to be fair, if there's one... Uh, I can't say that. Uh, one of the potential feuds in the women's division that I'd be okay with going back mm. over and over again would be the two of them. There's not many. Like, I don't want to see Naomi and Mandy again. I know, and now they added more yeah. stories. Yeah, they to made it. it more complex. I was surprised. Yeah. Um, but you know what I mean, though. No, like, there's no, things you I, don't I, need I to go back. You. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's things that you can safely go back to, and that's mm. one of them. Right. So it's like the Roman and uh, Braun. Yeah, it, it worked for them. Yeah, at the very least. Then you got to think how many matches did they go through together? A lot. And when you think about it, how many, what Charlotte and Becky's have? What a handful. <laughs> um evolution pay-per-view matches they probably only had like the evolution one and they had the rematch on smackdown afterward right probably yeah and then but they had hell in a cell where becky won it and then she retained it at evolution and then maybe she had oh yeah no no she probably didn't have i think evolution might have been a rematch was oh yeah yeah, you're right it was a rematch so there's a chance they've only had a handful of actual televised that's um, true. I, I know they've been showcasing the dark matches a lot after the show. Or really? Least, I think it was with Asuka. I think they did triple threats. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. But uh. But yeah, there's uh. Oh yeah, I completely forgot the point. Of it. It's just the fact that Becky came out and kind of talked herself up, and then oh, Charlotte yeah. came out going yeah. into your sucker punch point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where um, Charlotte came out and. It's like, oh, this you, you're only good because of me, and blah, blah, blah. And Becky kind of just goes, okay, I'm done talking. And just Damn. Clocks and just her leaves the, the ring. Yep. And, and then, then she Charlotte walks away. Her down. Yeah, it was, it was good stuff. It was good. Um, we got some progression toward the women's tag title match it, in Elimination Chamber. We had qualifying matches on Raw. Yes, two of them. Uh, we had Alexa and Mickey versus Nia and Tamina. Tamina and Nia went over. Not a surprise there. Not really. And then the odd pairing of Dana Brooke <clears throat> and Natalia against the Riot Squad. Uh-huh. Um, so I, I'm guessing they're going to build a little feud here with Natalia and Dana Brooke? Why? Oh, I guess this wasn't showed on the Hulu version? I didn't see anything about this. Oh, okay. So, bef- I don't know, it was before the match, uh, they were named partners, and Dana uh-huh. was just kind of being really, like, pushy with Natalia and stuff oh, okay. like that, and, like, you know saying i'll take care of it and all that stuff and then she ended up being the one to lose yeah natalia was obviously frustrated Uh but uh it seems like they might actually go into a little program here and i think dana brooke could use at least some sort of well i was gonna say it's not like either of them are doing anything right now anyway no but i mean this is the role natalia should really be playing is Uh, putting over the younger absolutely roster not not, i don't know how old dana is but she hasn't guaranteed dana is less is uh, like less than 30 i would imagine probably somewhere in that range yeah um, she hasn't been showcased no. at all so yeah well and, that's the thing i don't even know if they have time for a third or you know fourth true but i mean well i mean see story. the problem is and wwe does this a lot with a lot of the lower card feuds is they put something small in there like they're gonna do something and then they just never go back to it mm-hmm. like with mojo staring in the mirror and talking to himself yeah you're right i didn't see that no i knew that wasn't gonna <laughs> be on there um but yeah oh the riot squad went over those two uh-huh. and then on smackdown mandy and sonia just announced announced that they were gonna be in the uh, chamber match yep so i guess they have special that. stuff special privileges on yeah SmackDown. something like that and then mandy explained that she has her hatred for Naomi came from back in what the tough enough days. Yeah, and uh, granted that was four years ago. It's not like it was that yeah. long ago. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but I guess which is crazy that was four years ago. Yeah, when it, when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess but Naomi I, was making fun of her or push putting her down. Something. I, like I think that. she was like pushing her to or pushing. I guess them. Yeah, and Mandy didn't take too kindly to yeah. it. And then, oh, and then uh, her, she was sad over it and was crying. Oh, yeah. So when she went home, she, her boyfriend broke up with her because of it. And yeah. that's why she wants to break up the marriage of Naomi. Yes. And then <laughs> after this, Boy. we had a, um, I don't know if it was directly after this, but the majority of it ha- took place during the uh, the Four Corners Elimination Tag Team Match. Mm-hmm. 
for a number one contendership for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. And Corey Graves literally spent the entire time <laughs> talking about Mandy Rose. <laughs> Texting her back and forth. Yeah. DMing her or whatever and they all, went into. All he did was he kept on saying, like, uh, hopefully she's all right and somebody should call her and see how she's doing. Oh, Corey. <laughs> yeah. It was it was fun. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, they wasted a lot of time on Sm- – not a lot, but a, a, a portion of time with uh, The Miz and uh, Shane McMahon oh, and their title yeah. celebration or whatever the hell you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely a time waster. We didn't need a video package or yeah. for his dad to come down or yeah, all that stuff. Because that was Shane's big surprise that he mm-hmm. brought his dad down. We were supposed to fly back last night. So, oh. so bad. Uh, yeah, so then, like, you had talked about the Four Corners elimination match to face Shane and Miz at Elimination Chamber. Yes. Uh, um, that was the Usos versus the New Day versus Heavy Machinery and versus The Bar. Yep. The Usos won. They did. Um, Which I'm fine with, because I like yeah, the Usos. Yeah, it's fine, and it shouldn't have been The Bar and The New Day. No, I'm going. Yeah. Um, so I was kind of hoping it'd be Heavy Machinery, just because it'd be different. I- I really hope they could stay on SmackDown and we get like a Big E and Otis. That's uh, fine. That was fantastic. Yeah. The two, uh... um, but I think if the Miz and Shane are to retain at least once, it yeah, would make it's... more sense because there's two pay per views between yeah. here and WrestleMania. It would make more sense for it to be against the new team being Heavy Machinery. Right. That was my thinking. Yeah. No. No. It makes so, sense because if you have them beat the Usos too. Now you're just burying the whole tag team division. That's all you're doing. Well. I know they don't care. I know. They're good at it. Yeah. You're going to Shane McMahon. Yeah. Best in the world. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Oh, we had some tag team action on Raw. The Revival faced Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. I'm sure that was not on the Hulu version. Uh, the Revival one. Wow. That's yeah. weird. Oh, Kurt Hawkins can't get a victory. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> I, I wasn't thinking about that. Oh, boy. Oh, and, uh, right, we didn't talk about how Raw opened. Um, oh, yeah. You know, Triple H was kind of, I guess, handing the reins back to Seth Rollins, so to speak. They didn't have a choice. No, not really. <laughs> it was your, your best option. Yep. Um. But, yeah, he said Seth needs to decide tonight who he's going to face. Mm-hmm. Both Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar are here. Obviously. Yeah, Daniel Bryan didn't even make an actual appearance. Yeah, he just he, appeared. He was backstage. Yeah, oh, okay. he just yeah, appeared yeah. backstage mm-hmm. with Eric Rowan a couple yep. of times. Yep. Um, Seth pointed at the sign. He did. He, made, he said he always wanted. He, he said he wasn't going to do it, but he had to do it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and Dean the, comes out. Yeah, and he said, "What did he say? The one thing you haven't done is beat me, right?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, um, it's true. I did, think I could have sworn Seth. I think a large so. majority of the time that they were feuding back, in, like when they split yeah. D- Dean one, yeah, hmm. or whatever. That, was, that was pre-championship, I think. For Seth. okay, I gotcha. So he was kind of just that makes sense. The two of them were just fighting over nothing, mm-hmm. technically. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think uh, Dean wanted a match for Seth. Triple H was he just said no right or he didn't even did he kind of yeah, just ignored Triple H it. just left the ring yeah, or was and, going to leave yeah. the ring and Dean said oh what do you need your father in law's permission yep and then Triple H said get a referee out here yep and Seth Rollins won with stomp uh-huh. and then we have this very weird segment where Dean was in oh, the ring uh-huh. sitting in a chair right he was in a chair he, he wouldn't was, leave yes. and he, then, he said he needed to get something off his right. chest and he was starting to. Like he started to say things, and then all of a sudden, Nia Jackson and Tamina came out, which uh-huh. led to that tag match we talked about earlier. And then the next morning, we find out that Dean Ambrose will not renew his contract when it is up in April. Yeah, I don't think that was related. Um, I think that was meant to kind of give Nia Jax the, a toughness boost. Yeah, no, be- yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he was, like, staring her down, and, mm-hmm. like, as he was going to leave, he she, like, got a cheap shot in. Somebody had said online that they'll have a Nia Jax and Dean Ambrose match, and that'll be Dean Ambrose being embarrassed and leaving the company. That's possible. That could be a WrestleMania match. Good housekeeping match part two. That's fine. Jeff Jarrett's back in the company. So <laughs> he is. Possible. Oh, you didn't get to see that on here, did, did you? Did not. Oh, it was fantastic. Road Dog was in it, too. Road Dog was in it. it I, don't, I don't care. It was fantastic. It really was. 
<laughs> Probably uh, wasn't. No, it, it really was. We're gonna watch it after oh. after this. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was that. But yeah, no. Elias came out and he was gonna do his thing, and he told the audience to shut the hell up or shut up. Mm -hmm. So he's apparently a, a heel bad guy again. again. Yeah, it makes sense. Jarrett comes down. He called him slap nuts. Uh -huh. So it was fantastic. And then the road dog came out, and then they were gonna sing. Uh, what was it with my baby tonight? Right. Yeah, whatever. Song. And he goes over to Renee to have her sing with it. And I don't know if she didn't know the words or she couldn't hear the music or something like that. But it was just like this awkward uh, moment in time. It and then about right. <laughs> Road Dog, you know, said, if you're not down with something, you know, suck it. And then all of a sudden the crowd starts a holy shit chant. And he's like, this is a family show. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> and then I think Elias ended up laying, laying both of them out. Well, but, uh, it kind of makes sense. It, it, it was it was something. Oh, WWE. And this isn't the last time we're going to see him on TV. No, it's not. He's probably going to have a WrestleMania match with Elias. It's possible. It's definitely, it's definitely possible. definitely possible. Um, speaking of old men, we had a Kurt Angle spotting. Yeah, so I guess he was in the Royal Rumble. What did he come out? Number three or number... Uh, or... He was early, yeah. but not number three, because right. Shinsuke was number three. Oh, he was five then. But, uh... Anyway, he t apparently took Zack Ryder's spot in the Rumble for some unknown reason. That's weird. Yeah. That's really weird. Because, mm -hmm. like, why... If they're going to have him there, why not use him? And then why... Especially with all the crap that they threw into the Rumble. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the, the women's Rumble was a little more unpredictable. Well, like, the roster is small. Yeah, but, I mean, they didn't do what they did last year. You didn't have a lot of past stars come out. You had a lot of NXT. and I think they felt more comfortable I with guess. bringing up some people because the last year has kind of really given them the ability to showcase mm -hmm. these, um, I guess, rising talent better. Yeah. Um, so, well, because you have you had um, Rhea Ripley, who was mm. the the first uh, European UK women's UK NXT. champion. Yeah. So, you know, it's she obviously have some kind of faith mm. in her. Yep. Um, you had... Uh, Casey, right? Yeah, I don't um, remember what her name was, her last nice name. Thing. Yeah, I don't the, know. The very small one. Yeah, the yeah one apparently that did Ricochet's the, girlfriend. Sure. Yeah. Um, she did the uh, the Kofi Kingston-esque spot. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Kofi ones, they're really reaching now with them. Oh, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then who else was in there? Yeah, Kyrie Sane was in there. Io Shirai. Yeah. Um, there's another one. I think she was the one who was supposed or had the match at Evolution for the UK Championship. She was also Japanese, I think, or Chinese. Oh no, Chinese. no, 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 Chinese. Yeah, she yeah. wasn't. I, I don't. I think she, she was just in NXT. I think, or maybe no, she was in the Mae Young Classic. I think that's what it was. No, I could have swore she had the the dark. No, that match was uh, Dakota Kai. It was? Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. supposed to be the oh, other person. Oh, sure. Because I didn't Take know who it was. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that makes I, for, I forgot that that match mm -hmm. replaced it. Sure. Because, well, it's because the UK Championship technically wasn't a thing no, at the no, time. No, 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 yeah, no. Was, it was somebody else that was supposed to be in it. Uh, what the hell was her name? She used to date Aleister Black. I don't remember her name. Okay. She was in the Mae Young Classic, too. Or she was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she was. Okay. It wasn't her. Okay. It wasn't Zia Lee, right? Zia Lee, that's who it was. No, oh, maybe it was someone else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't her. I just but got anyway. names confused then. Yeah, well, there's a lot of names to get confused. It's true. Um, um, but yeah, the uh, the women's Royal Rumble was really good, though. I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. It was, like, a lot more unpredictable, yeah. despite the fact that we kind of knew who was going to win. Yeah. Or we had a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Especially who the final two were. <laughs> yeah. The men's just kind of had... A bunch of people that you knew didn't have a chance. And yeah, that's true. And it was only, I don't know. Seth it was, it was Seth the, and McIntyre. And McIntyre wasn't even, he, he got eliminated he, by Ziggler. Yeah, he got eliminated, I think, like, probably sixth or eighth yeah. to last. Uh-huh. All Something right. Like that. So let's go back to what we were originally talking about of... Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin on uh -huh. Raw. You mean where Kurt Angle lost to Baron Corbin from his signature move? Yeah. The hell was that about? I don't know. It's weird. Corbin beat Elias two weeks in a row, and then he beats Kurt Angle. Uh -huh. Do they build him up? No. Somebody said, I don't remember who it was. It might have been uh, Fightful. 
Mm. But uh, they said this could possibly be building to a WrestleMania tag match of Braun and Angle versus Corbin and Drew. That's bad for Drew. Yeah. Because right, yeah. cause Corbin and Drew attacked Braun yeah. again yeah. at the end of the show because we had Braun versus Drew. Yeah. Um, so that would kind of make sense. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a waste of McIntyre. Oh, yeah, I agree completely. Yeah, but... At this point, Braun kind of can do whatever, and it's not really going to affect him too much. Because mm-hmm. no matter what, he's going to get a good reaction. Yep. In and... Looks like we have a new IC title feud with uh, Finn Balor and uh, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, that was weird. We kind of figured that's where they were going to go, right? Yeah. Didn't we say that it Finn makes was sense. probably going to win the IC title at Mania or something like that? Or it could be before Mania. Well... I was predicting that he wins the IC title like a long time ago. Well, yeah, because we know, expected it. It made sense. him and Seth at yeah. least. Uh, Actually, back. it was probably WrestleMania last year when I probably predicted Finn to win. It's possible, but I think we were in the same boat this year because we knew he wasn't going to beat Brock, which no. he didn't. They put on a good match. Yeah, that but, match was uh, fantastic. Yeah. You know, it actually felt like he had a chance. Yeah, yeah. No, the way they did it was really good with uh, Brock, Brock running uh, into the announce table. Uh, yeah, he sold yeah. very well with yeah. that stomach problem and whatever. Yep. So it was good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Ronda and Sasha had a very good match at the Rumble as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan fell into the... Tr- I don't even know what you want to call the match, but it was... Malaise. Yeah, right after the Women's Rumble, mm-hmm. it was just a dead spot. Everybody yep. was visibly exhausted, the fans. It's true. And... Uh, <sighs> And then that finish. Yeah, Eric Rowan. <laughs> there was a ref bump, and then, well, Eric Rowan kind of strolls down to the mm. to ringside. Then we have a ref bump, comes into the ring, choke slams AJ, and then Daniel Bryan just crawls over and pins him. Yep. So that was that. Was that. It was something. Yeah. It Unexpected. Was something, yeah. That's for sure. Um, but, you know, I guess that's going to be a thing now. Eric Rowan yeah. and Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with it. It makes sense for Daniel Bryan to have some sort of, uh, I guess, health. Muscle? Yeah. It's funny because the two of them next to each other look ridiculous. A little bit. Well, because, A, Rowan's like a foot taller than he is. And because they're both like wearing flannel, it just looks so weird. So, and this goes back to a point you've made over and over again about you not liking the direction they go with the daniel bryan character because he's technically fighting for all the good things his shirt was like like an anti-racism you know all it had all like positive things on it and it's just like it's just crazy the way they uh, portraying him as a bad guy Mm -hmm. it's so weird yep so but whatever Uh, yeah this is what it is Mm mm-hmm so in the straight edge society, Serena got kicked out for drinking, right? They caught her or something like that. Maybe. I think. I don't so, honestly. What are know. they going to do that with Eric Rowan? He's going to be eating a hamburger backstage. Like, <laughs> Daniel oh. Bryan's going to kick him out <laughs> down that, the line. It's possible. Um, I would, I guess, put that past him. Oh, and the O in his <laughs> Tron video is the recycling symbol. Fantastic. Yeah. That it's was... attention to detail. It's, same it's the same exact music as yep. he used to mm-hmm. have, though. And Daniel Bryan unveiled his new belt, mm-hmm. hemp and uh, f- wood f- or fallen trees. Yeah. So nothing was cut down. I like how AJ asked him if he was smoking his title. If he smoked the prototype, that's what he oh, said. The prototype, that's right. <laughs> yeah, it was a good little uh, little jab there, mm-hmm. I guess. It doesn't matter. It was, yeah, it was, you know, it was <laughs> something that's pretty legal in the, most of the country. Yeah, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, no, AJ comes out and Randy comes out. Jeff, mm-hmm. Mustafa Ali, or Muhammad Ali is the whatever they want to call him, him on uh, at the Rumble. I think it was Cole. Yeah, Cole probably that during the Rumble. Yeah, I think you're right. And, um, then, uh, and, and then, then and then Matt's favorite wrestler, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. He was roasting everybody. I'll it tell was, you it what, was pretty it was, funny. It was a good promo. Yeah, they did a good job. I got no problem with his promo mm-hmm. skills. I have a problem with his ability to get the job done. Yeah. He's never going to get the job done. It's true. I mean, he, he gets the, he's just there to job. I was going to say, he does get the job done. He it's does. just not in the way that he wants to. No, no. He, you know, do you think he's ever going to win a title? Absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe they'll, like, stretch the cruiserweight title weight limit and then... 
Uh, or are they just going to have him, you know, a, a build for him to make weight to the cruiserweight? Yeah, then, that'd be uh, funny. Then they cancel 205 Live when that'd he makes funny. the weight. You do like Matt, Matt Hardy did. Yeah. Oh, that was some good stuff. Oh, yeah, he, apparently he lost a ton of weight, too. Not a ton, but you know what I mean. He yeah. looks in much better shape. That's good. Uh, Owens has lost a bunch of weight while he's training to uh, come back. That's weird. Yeah. Because he's always been big. It's not like it's, like... Because Matt, you know, over time... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Owens he's an old is, man. Owens is, yeah. like, in his early 30s. Well, so. it was funny, though. When you think how good Dean looked when he came back, and then all of a sudden just kind of plateaued, and he was just kind of... He looked yeah. like old Dean again. Yeah. I mean, I, it's something I'm sure that's very hard to keep up with. I can on only the road, imagine. And I'm sure... We've seen the... Uh, um, the ride alongs. ride alongs where they're just grabbing fast food yeah. and all their crap. Uh-huh. So yeah, it's it's probably easy yeah, to it can't uh, fall be an into that easy trap. Uh, easy schedule to maintain. But yeah, with all these men in the ring, they challenge Daniel. You know, all vying for a title yes, shot. They want to challenge Daniel Bryan. And Daniel then, Bryan says, "None yeah, of you are getting you know, a title shot." And then Triple H comes on the screen. He's like, "You're right. Daniel Bryan won't be facing any of you." He'll be facing all of you in the elimination <gasps> Surprise! chamber. Surprise! Yep. Never saw that coming. So those are our our two elimination chamber matches. Yeah. Maybe they'll do a third. Probably. If not. if we had to guess who was going to be in the elimination chamber match, that those would have been the six people. I'd guess anyway. Yeah, probably. Minus maybe Jeff. Yeah. And yeah, you probably could have inserted like Ray. No, I'd say well Ray or Andrade mm-hmm. instead of like all. Oh, Ali Jeff. and um, Jeff. No, or, I think Ali yeah. belongs in there. Mm-hmm. I think that... Um, oh, it could have just been for like a number one contendership? No, 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 no. No, I mean, just get rid of get rid of Jeff. I don't really see why he's in there. But I guess it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so... Where are they going with this R-Truth US title? <laughs> because we've seen Shinsuke and Rusev, at least for the time being, transition into a team? Yeah, um... To answer your question, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Because it seemed like what they were doing was, and it made no sense if they did this anyway, <laughs> have R-Truth win it and then lose it immediately. Right. But they didn't do that. No. And that wouldn't have made any sense anyway, because why have Rusev drop it if he's just going to get it back two days later? I don't know. It's not like he unless, had it for a long time. Unless what they do is you have... Andrade pick it up and then have him and Ray feud over the U.S. title. That would make more sense. I mean, that's there's really no mid. Rusev and Shinsuke was your mid card, yeah. and now you have Almas and mm-hmm. Andra, uh, yeah, Andrade. Yeah, um, Ray. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I, I forget what name they call him. Ray Mysterio. No, Andrade. Oh. If he's Almas, Andrade. Yeah, Mister C N. Mm-hmm. Oh, another highlight of the Royal Rumble was Hornswoggle showed up. Yes, and in so, the women's Royal yes. Rumble. Yes. He, he wasn't in the match, but Selena Vega hid underneath the ring, mm-hmm. and she like kept on popping out like when stuff was happening. It was good. I, I like the spot. Um, and then one time when she popped out, um, Hornswoggle, Hornswoggle popped also out. popped out. It was funny. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Little little things like that. It's true. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of wrestling uh, over the course of the list week oh yeah it's it well, when you have two hour plus matches that definitely yeah and then we had too. takeover on saturday as that well. is that is true as well yep and this week we have that uh clash of the uh whatever the hell it's called i don't remember the nxt uk and not NXT. yeah it's the the world's collide yeah that's there what you it was. go um, then we got halftime heat coming back yes Six man tag. Yes, that one match that they're having. Yep. It was what Ricochet, Alexander Black, and shit. What? Who else was there? Oh, Dream. Oh yeah, Velveteen Dream against Gargano, Ciampa, and Adam uh, Cole. Yes, Adam yeah. Cole. All the six men that stared uh, each other off after I guess the NXT show. And- yes. Unless maybe that's when they tape now because no. all those guys had matches. So yeah, they they, didn't tape it they'll though. tape it at a. Uh, Full sale. This I would imagine. I think so. they had tapings. I was going to say probably taped it today. Yeah. So, but what are you going to do? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I thought SmackDown overall was really good. Um, the majority of stuff had reasoning behind it oh, for yeah. it to happen. There's a lot. Like, of... I mean, even R Truth getting the title shot, at least they did something with what had happened. And they had a reason for it. Right. They're like, exactly. oh, it looks like R Truth gets the title shot. Yep. That didn't happen. Nope. Kind of it did, mm-hmm. but at the same time, they, you know, came up with a reason. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but the Miz Shane celebration led to a title, you know, a number one contenders match. Yeah. 
Um, Captain Planet, mm-hmm. everything. Yeah, no, I thought SmackDown was good, and I thought Raw wasn't bad overall. I mean, there's still gonna be crap. There's too much, too much time. Yep. It's just gonna be what it is. What's there's, it? there's just too much. Right. There's, there's too much stuff they feel obligated to do. That's unnecessary. Yeah, because it's like they. It's like sometimes you feel like they're spreading it too thick mm-hmm. but then you like th- it thins out i don't I, I don't know if it makes a lot of sense not completely because it like they have all the tools there they have the people they have everything mm-hmm. but it's like they go and write the show thin because they want to get as much time right. for everybody yeah, yeah, yeah but then stuff doesn't pan out so they kind of give too much time to the wrong stuff i guess that's true because it feels like a lot of the times like some of the stuff that happens doesn't really need to happen Mm. and doesn't make a whole lot of sense also i mean it happens so often now we get like a 25 minute match on raw you gotta save the stuff for the pay-per-views uh i guess most of it's rest holds during the yeah i know but but i don't know half the time like i don't even pay attention to the seth and dean match i skipped through most of that I don't want to, you know, I mean, yeah. I, while I like the wrestling, a lot of it's just very repetitive stuff. It's true, especially matches you've seen before. Yeah, and it just, again, it's them running through the motions. That's what it seems. They're always going to hit their signature moves, which I get because that's probably the reason they have the, uh, you know, the biggest audience and stuff like that because people get to see them hit yeah. their signature moves and stuff like that. It's true. And then they play the video games and mm-hmm. you can do the same thing. Yeah, but, it's exciting. Yeah. So but, it, it's definitely, definitely but, made to, you know, make the crowd excited. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. But yeah, oh yeah, and then we did we say that Seth is challenging Brock. Uh, it was kind of implied. You know, yeah. Uh, so the uh, Raw ends with Brock and Heyman coming out, mm-hmm. and basically Heyman saying that if Seth was smart, he challenged Daniel Bryan. Right. Seth comes out, attacks Brock. Brock hits him with f- five F5s? five F fives, yeah. I think. One of which was on the Universal title. Mm-hmm. And then he still ended up trying to get up. And then the show just cut. ended. That's it. Yeah. So that was, it. that was, you know, something. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, again, that was good. I thought the Ronda and Becky stuff was good. The Ronda Bailey was good. The yeah. opening was good. Uh-huh. And, yeah. You know, and then there was just some... Everyone's always excited to see Triple H. All right. He's going to... He'll get his match in at WrestleMania probably, too. I would imagine if he's healthy. Yeah. But... Yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much everything, right? I believe so. Yeah. Doesn't appear to be anything else. No, not really. So, so uh, yeah, that was uh, episode 29 of our podcast. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.